Instructional designers have the skill and experience to develop e-learning products for different types of audiences, but they might not know if those products are effective until evidence is gathered and analyzed. Evaluations provide evidence by collecting learner feedback that can support the effectiveness of a product and provide information for improving it. Evaluation is an integral and essential part of the e-learning development process. In the context of e-learning, a formative evaluation is a quality assurance check performed before you release the product to learners. Formative evaluation ensures that problems that can hinder the learning are identified and corrected. These evaluations can be simple and informal, yet surprisingly effective. Because a formative evaluation is intended to improve a product before it's delivered, mock-ups or paper prototypes can be used to represent ideas before they're incorporated into a finished product. If a paper prototype is used, as the product comes closer to completion, you might conduct more than one formative evaluation to gather input. Peer reviews, Pilot tests and usability tests are all formative evaluation methods that only need approximately five people to complete. Those people might include co-workers who review specific aspects of a course, such as instructional strategies, usability, functionality, and the overall learning experience. Summative evaluation is focused on learning outcomes and is conducted after a product has been developed and implemented. Although conducting an evaluation after a course is delivered will not improve that particular course, it can provide valuable information for developing similar future courses. Because summative evaluation examines results from larger groups to determine if users learned what was intended, it is often considered more valid and reliable than formative evaluation. A summative evaluation seeks to answer the following two questions. Is the product effective in achieving intended results? And are observable changes in learner performance directly related to the product? These questions are answered through self-report from learners, observer judgments, job performance indicators, and learner testing at selected intervals after product delivery.